If you watch a lot of Spongebob, you may have come across an episode titled, Wormy. While this episode may be ridiculous and goofy, like all the other ones, it has a gruesome secret. When the final version of this episode first aired, on the 17th of February in 2001, you would first see the title card, Wormy, followed by the credits. This episode begins with Spongebob and Patrick inside the tea dome. After seeing Sandy the Squirrel open the door, they start to play around with one of her pets, which was a common worm. After a few scenes of this, they decide that it's time to leave for the day. Spongebob and Patrick sadly walk to their homes and retire for the night. The next morning, they return and find that Wormy has undergone metamorphosis. Not understanding the concept of it, Spongebob and Patrick believe that the butterfly form has eaten Wormy. They manage to trap the butterfly inside of a bubble, but it escapes outside of the tree dome. They follow it to the Krusty Krab, where Mr. Krabs is posing for a shot taken by Squidward. Afraid that it would eat the two of them, Spongebob and Patrick tackle Mr. Krabs and Squidward, and the four of them topple onto the cash register boat. After telling them about the monster, they peek over the rim of the boat. Squidward chastises them for their idiocy, and then grabs the bubble containing Wormy. He and Mr. Krabs look closer only to see a close-up shot of what appears to be a fly's head. They scream in fright at the sight of the many eyes, and dash out of the building. Spongebob, who was previously cowering over the boat, sees that they left their underwear, and assumes that Wormy ate them. They decide to warn the town about Wormy, and put up posters depicting a giant butterfly. Soon, the town is in chaos, and the background is blood red. The buildings have chunks torn out of them, and some of them are completely decimated. Much later, Sandy returns from her trip and discovers the town in ruins. She starts to assume that a tornado came through. Wormy then arrives, still in the bubble, and flies up to Sandy, landing in her hand. She greets her pet and proceeds to trap it inside of a jar. As if she had defeated a terrible monster, the citizens of Bikini Bottom pop out and cheer for her, with Spongebob saying, Sandy caught the monster! The show ends with Sandy being carried away by a cheering crowd. This is where the alterations begin. If you look closely at Patrick at that last shot, you might have noticed something on there. You can see that his face is poorly drawn at first. It becomes a little disordered and stretched out. Then for the last few frames, it disappears altogether. Sure, it's just a slip up by the artist. No big deal, right? You might say. Nothing could be further from the truth of what actually happened. Before the final release of this episode, it was reviewed by the crew as they would with any other episode. Everything was normal from the beginning to where Spongebob visits the Krusty Krab, but at one point there was an even stranger error, where his arm started to jitter around and became deformed, bending backwards on itself. After a few seconds, the screen twitched, and it was back to normal. A few minutes afterwards, when he thought Mr. Krabs and Squidward had been eaten, the blue in his eyes started to vanish, replaced with a black, tar-like color. His arm moved as if he were continuing his frightened dialogue about Wormy, except there was no sound. If you were to read his lip movements during the scene, it would appear that he said, I'll kill you. Nothing else strange happened until Sandy arrived in the bus. The same scenario played out as the final episode, where she traps Wormy into a jar. Nothing happens for a few moments after that, and then Sandy just stands still like a statue. The sky is blood red. Then slowly, heads belonging to the citizens emerge from the buildings. Instead of being delighted at the capture of Wormy, their faces reveal no emotion whatsoever. They stare blankly at Sandy, before slowly stepping towards her. They pause about five feet from her and form a circle. Spongebob's eyes are black again. Suddenly, one fish lets out a scream and the rest follow. And soon, all you can hear is loud screeching, like razors on a chalkboard. They grab the jar containing Wormy and smash it onto the road. They start to stomp on him and an unnatural amount of blood spurts out of the butterfly. A lone figure appears on the horizon and begins to advance towards the mob. As it approaches, 
It is found to be Patrick, with no face. He picks Sandy up and shakes her above his head, and then throws her down, cracking her helmet on impact. The water pours in and she begins to suffocate. The rest of the mob follows Patrick, who carries Sandy away. Her innards are being thrown around like confetti as she disappears over the horizon, left to die at the hands of the mob. The intersection now looks like a war zone, with smoldering craters, fires, and destroyed buildings, and that blood red sky. Nobody is left on the smoking road, except for a very disordered Spongebob. The episode ends with him staring directly at the camera, and speaking in a raspy voice. This is your end. The screen cuts to static, and goes black. The team that watched this was horrified, and they did a half-baked job at fixing what was wrong before its release. They took the shot of Spongebob saying, I'll kill you, and instead left it in as a painting of the underwear of the Krusty Krabs floor. They never showed Spongebob at that moment, instead using a sound clip of him saying, It ate them, and there it goes! As for the horrifying finale, they changed the scene of Sandy being killed and carried away, and replaced the mob's faces to be joyful. They didn't follow the mob out of the shot, they tied it up, and quickly gave Patrick a face. It was lacking in quality, being a little jiggly, hence why some of the other fishes are drawn weird as well. Being distressed, they left in a few frames without Patrick's face. If you don't believe me, just watch the video.